on today's agenda Ford Transit 2 litre Eco Blue we are doing the wet belt replacement uh, as you can see there we've got the sump off to get the oil pump belt out which goes on that probably there and we've got pins lining up um, ready to take the top belt off we just need to find something to pin this up with um, and get the belt out pin the tensioner up because these tensioners have a hole in them there so you can pin them up so we need to get an allen bit in there wind it back put a pin in it and then we can get the belt off so we've had a little clean up pushed it out with a bit of brake cleaner got all the dirt off scraped the face down to clean up all the silicon i've already done the underneath where the sump goes i've still got to do the sump but that's fine and uh, i've got the new tensioner in down there and I've got the new belt in. Oh, so everything's back in. New belt, new tensioner. Just got to torque that bolt down for the tensioner. Um, we've done pulled all the pins, done 14 revolutions. And it all lines back up. And yes, you have to do 14 revolutions with these because the gearing on this bottom here isn't one to one. It isn't, yeah, it's all over the place so you have to be careful with that one come on oh, now let's get the pin out one second so yeah it's not as simple as that is. you'd hope of just the standard you know four revolutions now on these it's 14 because it's geared uh, but get your 14 revolutions in recheck your timing as long as everything's good then you can get the uh, wet belt back on for the bottom uh, for the oil pump, which I am now waiting for because I've had to order that from Ford. I have used the genuine Ford kit as well. So it's genuine Ford Ford kit. Um, they're actually cheaper than aftermarket to be entirely honest. New bolt for the uh, tensioner as well. So just need to get this bottom. Uh, bottom piece the belt the bottom which I've just had a phone call that's now in so go get that sorted and then get these covers put back on thanks for watching